Good day everyone. My name is Kara May D. Guerra, an engineering graduate in USDT. This is my teaching demo for the special ranking for DOSD scholar graduates under the RA 10612 scholarship program. I will be teaching the subject General Physics 2 with the topic Resistors in Series and Parallel. Good morning class. Before you all sit down, let us first have our morning prayer. Stout, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Stout. Now you can all have your seats. So, in our previous meeting, I told you to study in advance the topic circuits diagram. So, did you study in advance? We'll see about that in our activity. So, today, before we start our discussion, we will have a short activity. This activity is called Identify and Locate. So here, I will show pictures of objects and you will tell me the name of these objects and also where we can find these objects, okay? So now let's start. This is the first picture. What do you call this? Correct. This is called a bulb or light bulb. These can be found in classrooms, buildings. Also, we can find it outside in lampposts in the streets. Now, next picture. Do you know this? Yes, it is a battery. Or it is also called battery cell. We can find this in remotes, toys, flashlights, appliances, and many other things. So next, what is this? Yes, these are wires. Where we can find wires? Correct. We can find it in appliances, gadgets, electrical devices. We can also find it in our chargers. So in things that are run by electricity. Next picture, do you know this? Yes, this is a switch. It can be found also in appliances, gadgets, electrical devices, and walls in our houses. Also rooms. Now last picture. Are you familiar with this? Yes, these are resistors. Where can we find resistors? Yes, we find it in appliances, gadgets, electrical devices, computers, and many other things. So, class, I asked you to identify and tell me the possible locations of these items or objects because today we will discuss about circuit diagram. We will first have or discuss electrical circuit. We will define electrical circuit and the meaning of circuit diagram. Second, we will also identify the elements of these diagrams or circuit. And we will learn how to draw a circuit diagram. And lastly, we will discuss about Ohm's law. We will solve resistance, voltage, and also current. Okay, now let's go to the discussion. First, let us define what is an electrical circuit. So what is an electrical circuit? It is an interconnection of electrical devices which gives path for transmitting electrical current. So as you can see, this is an example of an electrical circuit. Have you seen one in real life? Oh, that's good that you have already seen this and you are familiar with this. Now, a practical electrical circuit has at least four parts. First is a source of electromotive force, which is the battery. Next are conductors, which are the wires. Next are loads, which are resistors or bulbs. And last is the means of control, which is the switch. So, familiar items, right? These are the ones that we had discussed or identified in the first part of our class. Now, let us define what is a circuit diagram. A circuit diagram is a simplified conventional graphical representation of an electrical circuit which consists of schematic symbols. So, the keywords here are representation of an electrical circuit. So, this is an example of a circuit diagram. First, let us know the two types of circuit. First is a closed circuit. This is an unbroken path of current for current from the battery through a load and back to the source. As you can see, class, the bulb here is uh, on because our circuit is closed. So when a circuit is closed, there is a current flow. 
Now, next type of circuit is an open circuit. An open circuit, a break in the circuit does not provide a complete path for the current, which means our load or the bulb is off. So, those are the two types, open circuit and closed circuit. Next, let us define the elements. So these are examples of elements in a circuit diagram. Elements are the components of the circuit or the electrical devices in a circuit. So first element is the battery. What is a battery? It is a combination of two or more cells electrically connected to work together to produce electric energy. And this is the symbol. There's a negative and positive sign. So, the unit of a battery is voltage or capital V, which is also known as the potential difference. Now, what is a voltage? Voltage is the energy that requires to move a unit charge through an element. And the symbol of voltage in equations is also capital V, which means volts. So, next element is wires or, yes, wires. These are flexible metallic conductor especially made one of copper, usually insulated, and used to carry the electric current in a circuit. So this is the pathway of our current, and the symbol is just a line. So wires in wires, since this is the path for current, a current is a flow of electrical charge, carriers usually electrons. The symbol of current in equations is a capital I, and the unit is amperes, or capital A. Okay, next element is called the resistor. So the resistor is an electrical component that limits or regulates the flow of electrical current in an electronic circuit. And this is the symbol of a resistor. So it, it, it looks like zigzag. Now, in analyzing circuits, we combine resistors. Resistors can be in series or parallel. So we have a formula for that. For series resistors, we simply add. And for parallel resistors, we divide the product of this resistances by its sum. So remember that. We will have examples of this on the later part. Next, resistors have resistance, which is the opposition to current flow. The symbol of resistance in equation is a capital letter R. And the unit of resistance is ohms. This is ohms. Okay? Next. The next element is the bulb. Bulb is an electric lamp that gives out light when electricity passes through it and the symbol of an electric bulb looks like this there's a circle and also an m inside the circle now the last element of an electronic circuit or electrical circuit is the switch this is a device used to make or break a connection in a circuit so you can turn the power or on or off in a circuit okay do you have any questions about this Okay, that's good. Now, let us move to discussing what is Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law defines the relationship between current, voltage, and resistance. Now, Ohm's Law is expressed in three ways. First, it is expressed as I is equals to V over R, which means current is equal to the voltage applied divided by the total resistance. So, I is equals to V over R. And next, it is also expressed as R is equal to V over I, which means the voltage applied divided by the total current is equal to the total resistance of the circuit. And lastly, it is expressed as V is equal to IR, or voltage is the product of the current and total resistance of the circuit. Now, class, as you can see, we have a triangle here. This is called the Ohm's Law Triangle. So, if we want to find the formula for voltage, we can just simply cover the letter V and find that the formula is I times R. Okay, so you can use the Ohm's Law Triangle to easily remember the formula of Ohm's Law. Do you have any questions? Okay, that's great. Now, for us to really understand the topic, let us have an example. So as you can see in this circuit, this is an open circuit because the switch is not connected, okay? And here we have how many resistors? Yes, we have four, which is connected by wires. 
Then we also have a source which is the battery. So these are the values of the resistors and the battery. Now first thing we will need to do to analyze this circuit is to combine resistors. So earlier we have resistors that are in series in this part. So because they are in series, we simply add R2 and R4 which is equal to 6 ohms. Now this is the new circuit. They are already in parallel. Because they are in parallel, we use the parallel formula for combining resistors. 6 times 3 divided by 6 plus 3 which is equals to 2 ohms. Now this is the new uh, circuit. We only have 2 resistors this time and they are in series. So we simply add 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 ohms. Now since we have the total resistance of our circuit, we can now find the total current of our circuit. Remember in Ohm's law, I is equal to voltage divided by the total resistance. So how much is the voltage of our battery? Yes, it is 6 volts. So divided by 4 ohms, we have a total current of 1.5 amperes. Therefore, the circuit supplied by a 6 volt battery has a resistance of 4 ohms and a current of 1.5 amperes. So is this clear class? Do you have any questions? Yes, Paolo. Mm -hmm. So here, we identify the negative and positive side of a battery by its size of the line. So shorter line represents the negative part of the battery and the longer line represents the positive side of the battery. So is this clear, Paolo? Okay, great. Any more questions? Okay, so now let us apply what we have learned with an activity. Don't worry, this is a group activity. You can help each other and you can also teach each other if the, your classmates still don't understand the topic, okay? So here is your activity. You solve this or do this in 10 minutes. Group yourselves into three. Now this is the instruction. Identify the type of circuit and label the elements in the circuit diagram. Also calculate the resistance, current, and voltage of the system or the diagram. And this is the circuit. These are the given values. Okay? So, now please start with the activity. Okay, time is over, class. Pass your papers in front so that I could uh, check this. Okay. Before I check this, let me just ask a volunteer from you who will share with us their answer. Okay, very good, Josh. Please share with your classmate your solution for this exercise or activity. Okay, very good, Josh. So, Josh and his teammates or group mates answered this correctly. Did you have the same answer with the group? Oh, some say yes and some also say no. That is okay because uh, we will have more examples on the next meeting. Okay, for now, let us refresh again what we have learned today by a short quiz. Oh, don't worry, this quiz, uh, I will not record it if I see that you are really struggling with this topic. Instead, I will base this for the next examples that we will discuss, okay? So for now, get a one whole piece of paper and answer this problem. We have the same instructions as the group activity and these are the given values. Okay, so please answer the quiz now for 20 minutes. Okay, class, time is up. Please pass your papers now. Okay, so class, was it difficult or easy? The, the class, it seems to be uh, divided. Some say yes, some say no. Well, don't worry, class. We will have, we will practice more examples for this. Okay, and yes, uh, our class is almost over. So before we officially end our class, uh, let me just give you an activity to take home. Please answer the problems from page one to uh, problems one to three on page one thirty two of your book. Okay. On the next meeting, we will discuss the answers, including the answers of our quiz. Okay. Do you have any more questions? Okay. I think all of you are still processing 
the information that you got in our lesson today. And yes, I think that's the end of our class. So thank you so much, class, for participating. I hope you learned something new today in the topic circuit diagrams. That would be all for our class. Goodbye, class. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.